Hmm. Should I give this image four stars or five stars or 10 million stars? You know, I like giving my images star ratings, but I think that star ratings are kind of flawed in a certain way because if you go out one day and you take an image and you think it's kind of okay, and then you go out another day and you take an image that's much better than anything you've taken all year, the star rating kind of, it's kind of hard to use that star rating to encapsulate that all the time if you're just using a star rating to sort of filter your images. You know, I think a much better thing you can do to improve your photography is to actually sort your images from best to worst. So really decide which ones are better, which ones are worse. So if you go out and you take, say, 20 pictures that you really like, sorting all those from 1 to 20 is actually a pretty arduous task. You really have to think carefully about the strengths and the weaknesses of composition and lighting. So as you know, I use Darktable, and I was wondering, can you sort your images from best to worst in Darktable? I actually thought the answer was no. I saw someone doing this in Lightroom, and I thought that was a cool thing, and I wanted to do it in Darktable too. And it turns out you can. So what you do is when you're in Darktable, make sure you have the top tab bar open and click on this sort by selection. You can sort by file name, full path, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Go down to Darktable and click custom sort. Now with custom sort, here's what you can do. This is really cool. See, so I have five images here, for example. I took them with the new Tamron 90 millimeter macro for Nikon Z. They were kind enough to send me that lens for testing, and I'm trying to test its capabilities. And I've got five images here from yesterday that I like. They're not perfect, but I want to sort them. The way to sort images once you've got custom sort activated is you simply take an image and you drag it into its new position. It's pretty simple, right? Here's an image of a flower. I like this one the best, but this third image is something I don't like as much. Maybe if I press the F key, we can see it on full screen. The bokeh is a little strange, and maybe I would have wanted the lower part of the flower to be more in focus. It's a little out of focus compared to the upper part. I like this berry a little better, so I'm going to drag this berry to the third place. And again, between this moody landscape and this flower, maybe I like the landscape a little, little better. So I'm going to drag the landscape to the fourth place. And if I decide later that I like this sort of bent flower better than this very up close macro, I can drag it to first place. And if I change my mind, I can switch them again. That's it. Drag and drop. You can arrange your images in Darktable. Again, I really recommend it. I, I find sorting images such an important thing to do because it really forces you to look at your photography with a critical eye. And self-critique is one of the most important parts of improving your photography. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you want more tips on Darktable, consider joining my Patreon. It's linked in the video description in the comments. You can join for free and I put out some stuff for free members. There is a paid section as well that has even more exclusive content, like more videos on Darktable. But I do post free stuff there too. So consider going down there and checking out some of the tips I have on my Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video on sorting your images in Darktable. And I'll see you again next time.